up? Welcome to another random vlog episode. I am driving by myself at the moment. But what is this vlog about? What are we doing? Where am I going? Where is Alex? So, where am I going? Well, actually, I'm just going to the local pharmacy, uh, Shoppers Drug Mart here. And uh, where's Alex? Alex is doing her own thing. She is uh, at home, probably working. It's like a Wednesday or something like that. And basically, I was talking to my best friend today. Best friend, what's up? Love you. And we're just like obviously sharing our lives, TMIs and whatever. And uh, she's like, oh my God, I got my period. I'm dying and la la la. And I was just like, oh my God, I got my period too. And I am also incurring the dying part coming, like it's coming. And so we got into the topic about just like feminine products. Like at this age of almost 33, in a few months, I don't feel like I have to have a good hold on feminine products and what really works for me and what I want, like how to have better myself and my choices of feminine products. And so I was just like, TMI, I like got these um, period underwear. So basically underwear that has period protection already built into them. And I bought them online through a company called, a brand called NYX that I think many of you might have heard of. And I was just like, I bought these uh, period underwear. I'm kind of excited to try them. I don't know like what it's gonna be like. And then she, she's like, oh, me too. I've been, you know, using these um, ones from always. And I was just like, oh, like the disposable ones. And she's just like, yeah. I'm like, oh, okay. The ones I got are like the washable ones. And then she's just like, oh yeah, she don't know if she could deal with like washable ones and stuff like that. And then I was just like, hmm, well, you know what? Since it's gonna be my first time trying these reusable ones, like washable ones, what would it be like to try also these disposable ones? And I was just like, why not vlog it? Because I ended up actually watching a YouTuber also review her experience about using the always um, period disposable underwear. So I'm like, I should do a comparison between the disposable and the non-disposable and exactly what those are going to entail. What am I going to compare? Um, I think for sure price, like price point would be very ideal. Fit, of course, cause like, what's the point? The point is trying to find feminine products and you know, period products that work and fit and like make you feel better, make me feel better, even on the worst days of my life. <laughs> Dramatic cry. Um, and I think obviously protection because that's what we need. We don't want to wake up to like a scene out of a horror film the next morning and then also then delve into the detergent that we need to clean after ourselves. And so protection is also going to be key. And here I am rolling up into a parking lot of shoppers. Now I'm very nervous because I think these products are kind of new, at least like the period one. So I want to want to know if they actually have them at this location. And I did see them online, like online on Amazon. So they didn't have it at this one. Uh, they did have like the same line in overnight but just the pads that have like the super long and then wide back. But that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for the overnight like underwear, period underwear that is disposable. So I'm not gonna give up here today. I'm just gonna go try another one, uh, another shoppers. So yeah, they didn't have it either. 
Um, uh, this is two locations of Shoppers Drug Mart, which is like pretty local kind of pharmacy kind of deal, like chain wise. Uh, unfortunately, I am not going to try a third. Um, that would be like the most, I guess, like Shoppers is usually the most accessible uh, in my area. There, I think, like maybe Walmart would be worth a shot, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. I don't think I'm gonna do that because what does this really say about this product? At first, it's really just giving me like the vibes that it's not super accessible. Like it's not right now all over the like the shelves or anything like that. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go home and I'm going to order them on Amazon. And like, yeah. Cause I think I saw with Prime shipping, it is going to arrive like Friday. So, cause I'm on day one of said hell experience call period. <laughs> I am going to actually maybe try the NYX ones tonight and see. So I'm gonna test them with like an overnight experience because this is what, this is pretty much what I am seeking, right? Is an overnight experience. I'll check back in tonight when I have the NYX on, I guess. Okay. Hey guys, what's up? It's day one. Uh, we just, we this morning, well, afternoon, we tried to go find the always overnight um, period underwear that's disposable, but yeah, no luck. And so today we're gonna go ahead and try the NYX ones first. Now I just finished showering. It's late, I, I my routine is always shower before bed. So shower and then I put them on and I don't know if this happens to you guys, but after I shower, I find that the pads don't stick well to the, like, the panty, and it, like, s slips and slides. And so, I found with this, like, period underwear, you don't have to worry about sticking any, like, you know, wing or anything like that. And you just put it on like an underwear. Now, if I was Alex confident, I would show it to you guys on. <laughs> But because I'm not, I'm just going to show you guys a pair um, that I purchased. So the one that I put on is actually like a high-rise uh, bikini style. And this is not the overnight uh, boy shorts or sleeping shorts that they advertise a lot. And so I don't know if this particular bikini one is meant to be worn overnight, but it is also a um like for heavy flow so i'll put the link to those like styles and stuff that i purchased and that i'm wearing in these videos in the description box below but the one i'm wearing today is not the overnight um shorts version it's the it's the heavy flow bikini version and that's because it's day one and day one is like five being like super heavy Today is probably like two, day one are like two. I can still walk, I can still breathe. <laughs> so day ones are like, eh, it's okay. So I put two, I'm like, I could probably try to wear this one to sleep because it's for heavy flow and it's day one, it's not too bad. But in terms of like material, so I just wanted to show you guys. It's like, it's almost like the athletic kind of, uh, spandex ish material you guys can always check out their website but it says 70% nylon 30% spandex 100% polyester and so that's the size okay so this is the overnight one that is like they always advertise you could wear to sleep, full protection and whatnot. And so what I kind of noticed off the bat, so what you can see here is that it has that pad sewn in. 
and on the inside it's like that so you can see it's this one's meant really for overnight because the back protection is so wide whereas the bikini one that i'm wearing isn't so maybe who knows not like we're we're in a path of discovery here with this whole thing um so maybe i'll try this one tomorrow the always overnight pads that uh overnight underwear that i ordered is coming off friday and so friday is going to be day three of my flow which is a heavy day day two tomorrow is going to also be a heavy day i have a feeling i'm going to be paralyzed but <laughs> um this will be a good chance to test these guys tomorrow whereas on friday we can test the always disposable period underwear oh my god this is a mouthful this is honestly a mouthful but yes so see you guys tomorrow <sighs> morning so it is a ch quick check-in after day one last night and it was using we were using while well, i was using <laughs> the nyx heavy flow um bikini underwear period underwear and not the uh shorts and so this is not the one that they promote to wear like overnight because it's not got it doesn't have the big backing and the wide backing but i was like hey it's day one it's not super bad like out of five it was like maybe a two in terms of flow and it did the job like it, i was spot on it did the job perfectly um i was a little bit worried still just because i'm a bigger so i'm like on the plus side for sure and so i was just a little bit worried because you could see it does towards the front even i feel like it's lacking a bit of length it didn't go more than i would be more comfortable with but it worked and it was dry like i woke up like pretty dry i woke up dry like there wasn't anything at all um i would show you guys a picture of what it looks like but <laughs> i'll save you guys that um you would you would see in the video that there is actually no leakage at all like my sheets i woke up completely clean <laughs> the biggest goals was to get better night's sleep knowing that there's like enough protection and how was my sleep last night well i slept late <laughs> and it was like it was good i mean i have underlying health conditions including pcos When I get my period, it's like pains are front and back and it's just, oh, it's all over the place. But I think if I was to disregard that, um, it was comfortable. It was definitely really, really comfortable. Um, I was able to like change position sleeping due to pain without having to give it too much thought about leakage. So I think that's a win on that side uh we'll talk like base comfort wise um material wise and fit wise towards the end after i try the disposable ones as well and today is going to be day two and so day two today tonight i'm going to actually try the overnight um shorts that they recommend and that they say are like perfect for sleeping in with, and these are the ones with the, like the extended big backing at the back 
um these are like the boy shorts and it's more along like similar to the regular panties that i would wear on a day-to-day -day basis so excited to try that tonight and then hopefully tomorrow our always disposable ones will show up for day three um but day two today like flow is four like definitely four out of five for flow today and cramps are like yeah three out of five for sure <laughs> okay i will check back in tomorrow okay so i know i said i wouldn't show you to you guys on because uh yeah i'm not like super confident in my body but i definitely needed you guys to see the length of this boy short one or the dream shorts from nyx because it's like short shorts length here right and like i told you i don't have a butt so and so like i thought they were more like the boy short underwear length and then you would still wear shorts on top if you wanted to to go to sleep and stuff but you can wear these alone to sleep based on the length because now that like once you wear shorts over this it's a little bit uncomfortable and it fits quite well as i have it on uh the front is a little awkward and i'll explain that in an in the conclusion at the end why i think the front is a little awkward for me um based on my body shape but overall it's a really good fit i can feel the protection how far it runs up back here um and i'll save you guys the front <laughs> But yeah, you could wear these to sleep by yourself, if by themselves, if you needed to, if you're free sleeper. But if you want to wear shorts on top of them, you can, you can too. If you're someone who wears bicycle shorts a lot under things, this probably wouldn't bother you to wear under shorts. Oh my god, my bathroom is disgusting. Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back. Checking in on what I think is like day four. So, so happens that my flow this entire like period cycle has been actually quite okay. It hasn't been like so, so out of control. And so just take that into consideration when, you know, you're thinking about buying these products like how is your flow and how like regular is your cycle and that kind of stuff because sometimes because of my underlying health conditions i might be like crazy niagara falls type or just like credit river it really depends <laughs> and so i'm actually quite fortunate this cycle has actually been quite light for me um compared to like my usual cycles so yeah i didn't i guess fully get to test certain products to the fullest potential like when i say how much can it really hold like i probably couldn't tell you that but anyhow so as uh just a small recap my first day second day we went with the nyx um period underwear and so the first day i went with the high rise bikini that was for heavy flow and actually on the second day i went with the overnight dream shorts that had the super long and the wide backing and then on the third day i actually went and with the always uh overnight period underwear now because it was yesterday and i came back super late i really didn't have the time to film and open it but uh i got them on amazon because i couldn't find them in stores and so it came in a box like this and then here's the side okay so right off the bat it gives you some information like when you should wear this this is the heaviest so it's telling you if those the regular like overnight pads aren't good enough this is going to defeat all of them and i'm going to show you why So it ends up like that and that's the inside now i'm not gonna actually use this one today on day four because it's already i feel like i'm reaching the end 
but am I gonna keep using these? Tell you in a second. So when you take it out, and it honestly does just look like one of those um, like adult diapers that you would give to people who like have uncontrolled like bowel movements or uncontrollable bladder. Like my grandma definitely had worn them. Okay. And so they're like an ashy charcoal color. But it, I have to say like this material is super soft it is actually so soft it's not awkward against the skin at all and then on the inside you have a full pad okay now this is not like thin like they're like regular pads this is like a maxi pad kind of I feel maxi pad kind of material like it's quite thick okay like their overnight pads are still thin even though they are absorbent but this I feel is like maxi almost or close to maxi because it's quite thick now in terms of fit so it didn't actually fit too awkward except the back and I feel like that was a little bit like that with the NYX for me as well just because I don't have much of a booty or any booty at all <laughs> and so I think if you had a little bit more booty it would fill in and so you wouldn't have like a weird saggy gap at the back but then I thought about like what about those who have like really big booties like then I feel like that also wouldn't work for you either like there because it's not like actual underwear material right it's not real fabric so like there are definitely limitations to this thing that you can't really you know exceed you know so if you're like bigger on the bigger plus side this might not fit and this might not work for you in terms of like i thought looking at this i thought oh this is like high rise probably past my belly button but i have a belly and it didn't go past my belly button despite thinking it was high rise so unfortunately it didn't go past my belly button and i like to keep my belly button covered um especially during my period because it, like when i when my belly gets cold during my period i find like my cramps hurt more so there's that uh, in terms of like comfort during the night though, I found that it was very comfortable. I didn't actually feel all that different. It was really the sitting, like the standing part after I had put it on that I thought, hmm, like this it had like that kind of saggy a little bit. Like you could not wear this though on a day to day. Um, during the day, if you were wearing things like leggings or like super tight jeans because I feel like this would not work well whereas the NYX one though I feel like you could definitely wear those under your regular clothes because there wasn't much of a thickness to it and this there wasn't like so much seams that you could see it as well but yeah so this was that throughout the night though I definitely didn't feel um anything I, it was fine for me now i was reading some reviews on amazon when i was prior to purchasing this and this might be a big factor for you if you're someone who's like really prone to um, allergies because these are indeed like they're scented when i opened the box i felt like it was most of the scent now it's not so so much but there is like a scent to them so if you're someone who's allergic to anything with perfumes, just be careful and watch out. This might not be a product for you. Okay, so that pretty much covers what this always overnight um, period underwear looks like. This disposable kind here. And so today for day four, I'm just going to go with my second and actually last pair of the NYX overnight 
um dream shorts and hopefully this is like tomorrow will really mark the end of my cycle and tomorrow night i'll just finish it off with like an overnight pad because this is definitely going to be super overkill for that and yeah um and so i'll just summarize everything in terms of comparison for the two products okay so first of all when we talk about material now the nyx uh period underwear material is basically underwear material okay and even the pad side it's pretty much lined so that it's like period it's like underwear there's no problem with the material that's involved now with the always one it's material that's of lower cost to mimic obviously um something that would be more comfortable to wear but on the other side it also needs to be something that's disposable right so material wise like nyx obviously has the upper hand on that side thickness and comfortability is number two now although the nyx one wasn't super thick it was quite comfortable to wear uh, my only thing is in terms of the length of the coverage that I got from the NYX, it wasn't so much a frontal coverage, it's more of a back coverage. However, with this always one, that coverage is like a lot wider. It's front, like pretty much, you know, right over like that whole area of your vagina and then also the back as well however it's also super thick like close to maxi pad thickness not anything close to their regular pad thickness so keep that in mind if you're having that super super heavy flow maybe you need to go with this one okay and then also something that's really important to mention too is that when we wear period underwear, if you're thinking about wearing it as a backup to your regular protection and you only wear pads, then you don't really have anything to use other than the underwear, right? So if you're using it as backup protection to something else, then you must be someone who's using a different kind of period product overall. So you might have to be using a cup or you might have to be using a tampon, something that goes inside so that you can wear this on the outside as backup protection. If you're someone who's only wearing like a pad to bed as overnight protection, then if you need to, and you have that super heavy flow, then this might be the way to go versus like the NYX, because I know some people do um, wear NYX as a backup protection as well instead of just their primary protection other than that um so cost wise now a box of these uh for seven were close to I would say close to ten dollars because I bought two boxes for twenty dollars so yes a box of these is close to ten dollars and they are disposable now assume seven is like a cycle okay you would need maybe a box of these a month if you were regular versus the nyx underwear that are washable so a pair of i think the high-rise ones right now the bikini ones are around 40 and the overnight dream short might be around 45 close to 50 um it's definitely like an investment on that side if you're someone if you're like i'm already cool with its um thickness its comfort level it's just a little bit probably more expensive it's not like i can go ahead and buy you know a whole cycle's worth of pant um period panties then it's like okay maybe we slow you slowly make the switch by buying one or two one or two each month until you have like that stockpile 
not underwear that you're wearing every day right so if you're like okay i'll get three off the bat and then the next month i can get two more slowly but surely you're definitely going to build up enough to cover your entire cycle and i also know that they're doing bundles where there's like i think five maybe like three bikini one overnight dream short and it comes with like a waterproof bag or something like that as well so you guys could check that out if you guys are interested in period underwear that is washable and of course 21st century so you want to take into a little bit of um you know your surroundings when you're shopping so are you like i shop i like to shop you know products that are more environmentally friendly well then if you are then obviously the nyx uh washable ones are the way to go if you're like you know i would that's not something i consider when i buy things like sanitary products then maybe you want to try these um i feel like for ten dollars <laughs> like you can definitely try these without like having to really think about it but do look into th getting the correct size for yourself um and if i said if you're like those bigger plus sizes if you're like the double x triple x then unfortunately i don't know like that always pro this always product is going to be okay for you i also don't know what are the bigger sizes in nyx but i think they do have up to like a double triple okay however i remember someone in the comments saying if you are like a double size down to a single x because they told you just to size down just because you want it to be fitted when you put it on so that the protection is you know close to your um skin and so that there's no leakage and also like it does stretch right because it is underwear and it is that stretchable cotton material polyester and stuff so that's also something to keep in mind to conclude <laughs> i think i would probably keep these as a backup for those di like times where my cycle is totally not predictable but i think regularly i would probably try to build up my collection of nicks to wear like overnight and like given a hybrid work from home situation i could probably even build up a collection of like just the regular bikini ones that would be on the super absorbency side to wear like during the day of my cycles as well when i'm working at home i definitely wouldn't choose that product to be worn um when i have to go out or if i have to go to the office to work just because i know it says that it absorbs quite well and it def like fights off the odors but just my confidence level and that and what it takes to like change you know from maybe one pair to another in an office environment would be kind of hard so i would probably day to day still use like a regular pad if i was going out if i was going to work in the office but if i was like at home and certainly overnight um i would think i want to actually try to build a bigger collection of nyx um period underwear for my cycle so i hope that this video helped you kind of you know got a little bit of insight into other products that you can use for your period and i just kind of wanted to do this because you know i find for myself when i need to figure out if something is fit for me um these youtube videos actually quite help you know people trying them on giving your reviews seeing if like the person who used it is similar to me in size even then i would kind of know um i know it's not entirely related to k-pop but this thought crossed my mind when i was in like day two and like cramping i'm like you know how when you work with people or when you're with certain people all the time your cycles sync up right it's a thing it's a thing i don't even know if it's there's science behind it but it's a real thing if you're in like a girl group 
right? And you like dorm together, work together, practice together. So like you guys are bound to sync up. So like if everyone is synced up, like does the group not promote during that cycle? <laughs> or like how, cause like what kind of things and preparations do they have to do if they're doing a comeback and if they're promoting like a new song and everyone's just on their period? <laughs> cause I figured I can't even focus sometimes when I'm on my period to like work and yet if they had to be like be on stage sing dance and they just have like the maddest cramps ever so also last note is I saw a video of someone saying that a certain doctor and scientist and you know studies find that period cramps the pain level is equivalent and can be equivalent to having a heart attack <laughs> and i'm expected to like be able to concentrate on all of my work for eight hours when i'm having suffering what might be a heart attack level of pain dude crazy crazy madness so um I think, without a doubt, we deserve to take sick days when we are going through our cycle. That's all I have to say. Um, I'll talk to my HR next week. <laughs> and that's going to be it for this uh, random vlog product review. Uh, let me know if this was helpful to you. <laughs> in the comments below uh let me know do you use other products that are like you know maybe not mainstream like a cup and how is that going for you it's getting more and more mainstream this is i've never pondered the thought of using a cup so <laughs> and i don't know there's not many years on me left until menopause anyways. I don't know if I'm ready to make that big of a switch. <laughs> and that's going to be it for this one. I'll see you guys in something else real soon. Bye.